This is One Minute with Ed. Turns out it's a very simple concept. I'm going to discuss it in front of a multi-sizer 4E. But basically you have an aperture, which is a glass tube with a hole bored in the side. In this case, a 100 micron aperture with an electrode on the outside and an electrode on the inside. And you would have a sample container with a uh, isotonic solution, typically a dilute electrolyte. This can be aqueous or non-aqueous uh, for this type of instrument. And uh, for cells, you would use something small like an AccuVet, and uh, it would rise here. And so what you uh, would do is the instrument being a constant current supply would pass a constant current across the electrodes. And as the particle uh, gets aspirated in, we pull a vacuum on the inside of the aperture. And uh, in this case, we could draw in a metered volume. Uh, and as the particles pass through the, the hole, it uh, displaces electrolyte equal to its own volume. And the instrument wants to adjust, because we've changed the resistance momentarily as the cell or particle passes through the aperture, we, uh, the instrument wants to adjust the voltage. And we see that as a voltage spike in the electronics. The height of that uh, spike is proportional to the volume of the particle. And of course, we can count these pulses. So we can get the count and we can get the size by volume of the cells that we happen to be uh, measuring. Uh, and this can be uh, done uh, with this particular sensor. It can be done at a rapid rate of over 2,000 cells per second. And uh, so we can get a size distribution and a uh, uh, absolute count in, in just about 13 seconds if you're doing that was uh, 500 one microliters with, it. with this particular sensor. And that's in general the basic Coulter principle.